YouTube, what is going on? It's new knife day, woohoo! And this is the one I've been waiting for. Let's crack this bad boy open. Uh, this is the one I've been waiting for ever since Andy showed it to us on Guys Talk Knives. You cannot tell me otherwise. He designed this knife specifically for me and I cannot wait. Let's crack her open here. We have orders, we have stickers. Ooh, stickers, I like stickers. I, I swear my whole uh, bourbon cabinet is filled with Smoky Mountain uh, Knife Works stickers. Right here, and we got the order. See if there's any more stickers, no more stickers. Let's get to it. This is the new Rough Rider Reserve 004 Barback. Oh baby, I can't wait. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I just opened it. I literally ran home to grab this and then ran back out to do the review. Uh, oh man, I love these tubes. These tubes are so sweet. Oh, it has a little dent, no big deal. What a great package. What a great packaging, the aluminum tubes. Oh yeah, baby. New knife smell, oh yeah. I can't wait. This knife is so cool. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get out of there. Oh my goodness. It's a lot. It feels a lot bigger than I expected. A lot bigger. All right. Comes with the chamois. Chamois cloth. Oh, yes. Oh, it's upside down. It's upside down. Right there. <laughs> The unwrapping, the unwrapping in the Rough Rider paper. Oh, oh my God, look at this knife. First of all, it is a ton bigger than I expected. Not like, oh my gosh, in a bad way. It is way bigger than I expected. I thought this was going to be a little small knife it is everything but holy moses look at that look at the main blade the main blades on the pile side of the knife which is very very different for me uh at least i thought it was different hear the snap oh man i love i don't even know what this design would be called it's so original and it's so neat and it's so freaking cool looking i haven't even opened up the knife first knife snap Mm. Oh yeah, baby! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that warning cliff blade with that beautiful swedge right here. Nice little nail nick, the match strike nail nick, and then that bottle opener. I I I don't have a bottle on me. Obviously, I'm in my car. Oh my gosh, you could choke right up on that. Oh, <laughs> look at that! That looks like a mean ass bird right there, doesn't it? This is like a falcon coming in. <laughs> See the other? Look how, oh, maybe this is the secondary blade. No. Look, they're like equal. Look how big that pen blade is. Oh, great snap to it too. Great. Oh man, that thing is sweet. So sweet what it looks like opened up i freaking love this my carta handles the damn the fit and finish on these rough rider reserve knives i don't care what you say they are on par with gec all day long all day long i had somebody comment wait until you get a gec you're gonna lose your mind i've had gecs they're good i like them I like, I don't like searching for them. I can get on smkw.com and buy this one right away. And I don't have to fight people for it. I don't have to wait for a drop. I don't have to pay secondary prices for it. Oh man, half stops. Look how cool that knife looks. I freaking love this. I was so excited about it. Look at that. Oh, we got to test it out. We got to cut something. We gotta cut something. Let's cut something. Right here, we're gonna cut this. The Nightmare Before Christmas. 
Sharpness test. Take one. Butter. 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 Oh. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Look at that D2 steel just shaving. Oh my. I'm going to have to clean my car after this. I bet you could shave with this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Look how freaking sweet this is. This was $49.99, obviously, at smkw.com. This is super sweet. I really wish I had a bottle to open it and test this. I have no doubt in my mind that looks like a really, really well-made bottle opener. The best thing about this bottle opener is you can open it while the knife is still shut. Bam, just like that. Bam, if you follow me on TikTok, I'm going to open up a bottle with it tonight. Look how cool that is. Look at them. Oh, look at them bolsters. See if we can do a light test on here. Look how clean that is. Look how clean that is. Look at that fit and finish. Just smooth lines. Beautiful, zero gapping. Those brass liners against that black just pop. Obviously, the Arrowhead Shield is a fan favorite. I was not expecting this pen blade to be this big. Let's cut the pen with the pen blade. I was not expecting the pen blade to be this big. Again, butter. Butter. Oh, oh we're doing double. That was a double. <laughs> I was folded over. Look at that. That is the sharpest razor sharp. One thing Rough Rider always, always gets right is how sharp their blades are. Look how sweet that is right there. Oh, I got something in my eye. I'm perspiring. I feel weird. Probably because of my pre-workout. These things aren't going to be around for long. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I can't even talk. Look at that. I can't get over this blade shape. They're so unique. Andy did such a good job at presenting a, a unique traditional knife. You don't see it very often. You don't see it often enough, I should say. We need more of this. We need more original designs, more innovative designs, moving out of your comfort box. I freaking love that. I get so sick of watching the repetitiveness of patterns and they just change the handles. This is new, it's fresh, it's, it's, it's exciting to me. You can choke right up on that, man. That is perfect. That is, a, that is a worker right there. Choke right up on that. If you do that, you don't have to worry about that blade falling on you at all. It is a slip joint, it's non-locking, but look at that. And just, ooh, it's right there. <laughs> it is ridiculously sharp ridiculously sharp i got big meat mitts gigantic meat mitts look how well that fits in my hand just like that hear the snap again oh that is nice oh yeah so poppy snappy it's not a gator snap. I would say the pool is probably around a seven or eight, which is good for most people. Most people just, that is spot on. That's the sweet spot, like a seven or eight. The lockup is great. The snap is great. Good, strong springs, but not too strong where it's going to break your nail. Honestly, the only critique I would have is I don't understand why the nail nicks there. And that's just a personal preference. This is pinchable all day long. I like the nail nick. It's stylish. But you can just pinch it. I like that because I don't have very good fingernails. That is one of the coolest 
innovative, thinking outside of the box blades I have seen in a very, very long time. Andy, you hit it out of the park once again, brother. That is absolutely incredible, right there. This is the RRR. See if you can say that, focus. You focus. RRR004 in D2 steel micarta. I love, if you look right there, look how that, the, the scale swell out right there. I love that because where they're swelling out, where they get fat, fits perfectly right in your palm, right there. Look at that, God, does that look sweet. Look how photogenic that knife is going to look. Uh, yeah, everybody knows I'm an Instagram junkie. That is going to take some very, very cool pictures and I cannot wait. Andy, hell of a job, brother. This thing is sweet. Thank you for innovating a, a traditional slip joint. Thank you for coming out with new designs. Always, you, in my mind, are a, a leader in traditional knife design right now. I know we've lost uh, Frost and we lost Tony Bowes. You are coming up in, in the traditional knife design, in my opinion, as one of the best traditional knife designers out there as far as innovativeness, thinking outside the box, and just making it affordable as possible. That is what's awesome about this, is this knife is so unique and it's only 50 bucks. How cool is that? It's 50 bucks, you know, and you get a premium knife. This is a premium knife, you can't tell me otherwise. This is on par on par with GEC. I don't see an argument. I don't see how you can argue against that. My Carta, modern, it looks modern, but still has a traditional look. This is the epitome of modern traditional. Look at that. I like the, looks like wood grain. Oh my goodness, is that thing sweet. Slick, sweet, gentleman's knife. Pull it out, open up a beer, talk about it to your friends. Hell of a job, hell of a job. I am so excited about this. Look at that blade centering. Look at that. And it's so thin right there. There's zero blade rub. And you can see how clean that knife is right in the middle. Just out freaking standing. Outstanding. I, I don't, I have nothing more to say. Nothing more to say. Again. Incredible design. This 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 finger choil is just amazing to me. It's amazing. It has the feel of a C uh, CRKT Pilar to me, where you get that really nice big finger choil. You get this really nice size. It's it's a small knife, but it feels like a big knife in ergonomics. This. You designed this knife for me and I wanna thank you, even though you probably didn't think about me one time as designing it. Uh, but to make me feel better, this design was for me. This is this is the, the, the one big pikey knife. <laughs> thank you so much. What an incredible knife. You guys check us out, smkw.com. Check these out. This is the Rough Rider Reserve. Zero, 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 four, far back. What an incredible blade. You guys, if you like my reviews, don't forget to like, subscribe. Hopefully you had fun. Tell a buddy about it. Thank you so much for watching. Much appreciated as always. Shout out to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Thank you for all the continued support and love. I, I love doing these reviews and I wouldn't be able to do as many reviews as I can without your support. So very much appreciated as always. Look how sweet that is. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Take care.